my that the highest king would welcome me I was lost but he brought me in oh his love for me oh his love for me who the sun sets free oh is free in thee I'm a child of God as I am free at last he has ransomed me his race runs deep while I was a slave to sin Jesus died for me yes he died for me who the sun sets free oh is free and I'm a child of God as I am who oh, the sun sets free who oh, is free and I'm a child of Welcome back to this short Lenten devotional time. Uh, thank you for all your encouragement and support thus far. May God bless you. We've been reading verses uh, about God's love, the power of cross, and the power of the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. And this week, uh, we are we are reading verses that talks about the saving grace from our God. Um, yesterday we read from Ephesians, and today we're going to read from Titus chapter three, verses three to eight. Titus chapter three. Verses 3 to 8. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passion and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth, and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become hearers having the hope of eternal life. This is a worthy saying, and I want you to stress these things so that those who have entrusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for all the good things that you've done in our life. So, Father, thank you for your grace, your mercy, your unending love, O oh, Father. Thank you for saving us through your grace, O oh, Father. Just like how we sang, O oh, Father, who the Son sets free is free indeed. Yes, we are free indeed. We are free from the bondages of sin. We are no longer enslaved to sin, O oh, Father. As we read today, one time we were too foolish, disobedient, deceived and enslaved by all kinds of passion and pleasure. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But in your loving kindness, O oh Father, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to save us, to, do, to redeem us, O oh Father, to justify us by your grace. We remember the sacrifice, we remember the cross, and the blood and your grace. Help us to live life that honors your grace, honors your sacrifice, O oh Father. Honors the blessing and privilege that you gave us, O oh Father. Help us not to abuse that grace. Help us to live life that is consistent to what we read today, O oh Father. Life that pleases you, life that is that always reflects you in us, O oh Father. We pray this as an earnest prayer today, O oh Father. Help us. It is very difficult to do it, but by your strength, we will be able to do it. By your grace, we will be able to do it, O oh Father. Help us. We pray for the rest of the day, O oh Father. I pray that you would bless each and every one of us, O oh Father. I pray for divine favor upon those who are he hearing this prayer and praying with us. I pray for a blessing over them, O oh Father. Especially I pray for people who are sick and suffering. I pray in the name of Jesus, let them be healed, O oh Father. By the blood of Jesus, let them be healed from all their suffering, all their pain, O oh Father. I pray for people who are stuck in their lives. I pray for people who are stuck in failures, oh Father, who are tired of failing again and again. I pray for a special favor upon them today. Help them, O oh Father. Yes, Lord. By your grace, lift us up. Thank you, Lord. Help us to live life that testifies you. Help us to live life that glorifies, that honors your sacrifice and your grace, O oh Father. 
Help us to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.